did your app fail did you spend a lot of time money energy to create a great app launched it got some downloads got some paid users or not and after six months or a year you see the app is going nowhere did this thought ever come to your mind that I don't think it will work probably I should move on or wish someone would buy my startup no yes I know in last 12 years so many startups I worked with so many startups I have seen failing that facing these questions become pretty normal for me every three months at least one entrepreneur asked me these questions was that a crappy app? No. They created a very good app that worked perfectly in every platform. Yet, it failed. Happens a lot. Did it ever happen to you? If yes, then be aware that you did something very wrong. And that's why your app met with such a bad fate. Damn. What the hell did you do? Have you not sat and brainstormed with your app development partner? Were you not picky about the designs? Were you not involved in the journey of your app development? Did you not, did you skip something while marketing your mobile app? Oh, that is a lot of questions to be answered. If you have a good budget, working again on the app from scratch probably won't hurt you a lot. You can manage the budget by the next quarter, but what about a startup? A failure while developing a mobile app badly hurts a startup. As most of them are bootstrapped, cashless, penniless, ripped off completely, a startup is forced to pull down the shutters. Working with a number of startups and entrepreneurs at Innofide and helping them to build their products I managed different type of customers. I closely worked with them, hence it was pretty easy for me to find out what mistakes makes an app fail. I thought to discuss those mistakes with you guys if you are thinking to develop a mobile app in future. I am going to tell you 5 aspects which you probably have missed fully or partially while developing the app. Next time you develop your app, be aware of these aspects and you are going to have a much better result. So let's get started. Problem number one. I think you are wrong while choosing your mobile app development methodology. It's a common question from our customers that whether they should go for a hybrid technology or a native technology. If you have chosen a hybrid technology and the final product is not a native application, then don't expect your users to love your app. It's true. See, non-native apps run on browser engines. And the performance difference you see in a page running in your desktop browser and your desktop application is the same that you will find in your non-native app too. Today, users are accustomed to use the top quality apps like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Snapchat. All these apps work like charm without any performance issue. And among them, if you drop a non-native app which is sluggish and not at all user friendly, then what do you expect your app users to do? Then uninstalling it? So if you want to go for a cross-platform technology, go for React Native or Xamarin or something that ultimately creates a native application or just go for a native technology. Problem number two, you have tried to stuff your mobile app with almost everything, making it as heavy as encyclopedia. One of the common mistakes apprentices tend to commit is in defining their app features. Adding more is definitely sound good, but this is also an area where companies run off the rails. This is a misconception. Adding too many features in your app can be a reason to suffer. It is almost like strangling it today. For apps, less is more. Let me tell you why having too many features makes users uninstall the app. Three reasons. Your users look for a fast, convenient and unfussy experience. 
If your app is overloaded with features, it moves off the mission of solving a real problem that the users want it to be. Second, not everyone uses the latest hardware. So adding too many features might slow down your apps in the phone that uh, has old updates. And third, that means you know the app is going to see a the app is not going to work properly. And the third, another reason to uninstall your app is that your users might have a limited space on screens. And in that case, you need to develop a mobile app with a clear user interface. And more the features, the clumsier your app looks. It is important to focus on few core features that an app needs to satisfy. If you have an extra time, go ahead and invest your time in fine tuning the existing features and promoting the same. Problem number three, you just ignore to know whether your mobile app developer tested the app enough before launch. Yes, mobile app developers are in a rush to reach their deadlines and take shortcuts when it comes to app testing. And as for you, you think the app is finished and ready to hit the market. You fail to find the loopholes and release the app without beta testing. Yes, beta testing is something to develop a mobile app. If you ship something buggy in your mobile app, users will never come back. Beta testing helps developers to tackle different objectives of the product so that it can be improved further. Quality is one of the primary goals and objectives of beta testing. Make sure that your app goes through these seven beta testing stages prior to final launch. Number one, quality check. Beta testing to evaluate the overall user experience and ensure that the app meets the overall functionality. Number two, idea validation. It is done based on the user interactions and helps to determine the user acceptance of certain features. Number three, usability tests. Beta testing allows to get the actual user's pattern of the app since different users react differently and based on their uses, you can redesign your app. Number four, performance measure. You get a benchmark of performance of your app during beta testing as your app is used in a variety of situations and environments. Number five, regression check. Beta testing will allow you to make quick bug fixes and release new builds without losing users or bothering about the updates. Number six, early adopter validation. Remember, early users are your best peer. They spread the word and encourage other users to use your application. With beta testing, you can distribute your app to make such early adapters. And number seven, track cost. You can test your app in a market with low cost through cloud testing platforms like TestBirds, Elusive Stars, or Beta Family and reach out to thousands of professional testers. Problem number four. Yes, this is a terrible mistake probably you already did. Your app had a poor onboarding. Not a lot of product owners think about it. In fact, I have seen a that an understanding of better onboarding only comes when you see a lot of users downloaded the app, but they uninstalled the app after a few days or probably stopped using it. To get your onboarding perfect, you need to follow these three simple guidelines. Number one, you need to give an overview. To achieve this, you need to highlight the important areas of your app while keeping the app screen itself visible. In this way, users would be able to easily look at the functionality they are looking for. Number two, you need to show the value of your app. You need to show the key strengths of your app by utilizing a few screens as possible during onboarding and proceed to engage further after having a smooth onboarding experience. Tell them what to do to reach the next step. Guide your users step by step to provide a great onboarding experience. We all develop mobile apps, but while developing, we miss one of the most important essences. We forget whatever app we build, it must generate a personalized experience. An app is something that helps your business to stay connected with the customers 24 by 7. So you need to multiply your mobile app experience just as your consumer demands. And finally, problem number five. Did you make a marketing plan? Most likely you didn't. And if you did, it's not enough for sure. 
the entrepreneurs I work with, I find most of them are in too hurry to start the development and release the product in the market. I don't see them doing enough brainstorming or planning on marketing the application. It is not always that they don't know that marketing is required. I mean, we also tell them that to start marketing. But what we find is that they are not at all serious about it or they don't know the impact of it. Hence, the result becomes obvious. A great product doesn't sell itself. You have to find out the channels to market. You have to know ways to distribute the product. Without that, how will your app reach out to the users? Why will you, your users stay engaged to your app? I recently did a video in which I discussed what strategy you should follow to market your application. Go through that video to see if you are at all following any of these strategies. So guys, let me reiterate the points. Again, in order to have a successful app, here are the things you should follow. Number one, select the right app development methodology. Number two, don't put a lot of features. Keep only the required ones. Number three, test your app a lot before you launch. Number four, create a great onboarding for your users. And finally, number five, have a proper marketing plan ready. If you have any, or any other strategies that one should follow to make sure the app is not a failure, I want to know about it. So please share your ideas with me and with our audience in the comment section. Let us know how you created your app and what ideas worked for your app. If you know someone, your friends, your family, your colleagues who are working on their app design or development or app marketing, do share this video with them so that they don't make the same mistakes. If you're an entrepreneur, startup, businessman or someone associated with the tech industry, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We discuss a lot about problems on startups and entrepreneurs and what are the best ways to deal with them. Please do like and share this video and spread the message. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon.